Hi there, this is Tracy with Yoga with Tracy. Want to feel strong, vibrant, and happy? Come join me on the mat for this vinyasa flow sequence. Okay, we're going to start at the center of our mat. Feet are hip width distance apart. Soft knees, take your arms all the way up. Breathe in. Take your hands to the heart. Breathe out. Again, breathing in. And exhale, breathe out. Standing nice and tall, tight belly, inhale, and exhale. We're going to widen our stance today nice and wide, almost as wide as you can go without too much pressure on the body. Soft knees, arms all the way up. Breathe in, breathe out. Squeezing the shoulder blades behind you. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, exhale. Bending the knees slightly, inhale, and exhale. Good, come on all the way up. Take your hands to the heart. We're gonna bring our feet all the way back together and stand at the top of your mat. Arms are gonna come all the way up. Inhale, touch your fingertips together, dive to the toes, breathe out, forward fold. Inhale to that nice flat back. Remember, we wanna hold a tray of drinks on our back, so nice and flat. Tight belly in, soft knees. Breathe out, come down to the toes. Inhale, come on all the way up. So we're leading with the chest, and then breathe out, hands to the heart. We're gonna do a few of these. Ardha Surya Namaskar, half sun salutations. Breathe out. Weight in the heels, come up to flat back. Inhale, exhale to the toes. Inhale, press on up, lead with the chest, Exhale, hands to the heart. Few more. Breathing in. Exhale, dive to the toes. Inhale, the flat back. Exhale to the toes. Come on all the way up. Leading with the chest. Open up the heart. Breathe out. Two more. Inhale, nice big breath. Exhale, dive. Inhale, the flat back. Exhale to the toes. Inhale, raise your arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Last one for now. Breathing in. Dive, breathe out. Inhale, the flat back. Exhale to the toes. Come on all the way up. Reach up to the sky. <sighs> Take your hands to the heart. Well done. Take your arms all the way up. Let's dive to the toes. Place your hands down to the mat for your first downward facing dog. So remember, this is an upside down V, and we want to make sure that we feel comfortable in this. So I'm gonna bend my knees, walk and pedal my feet, press into my hands, engage the tops of my arms. And now I'm gonna focus on lifting the backs of my thighs, maybe softening my knees to extend my arms a little bit more. Taking a breath here, in and out. Well done, come up on the tops of the toes, bring your knees down to the mat, gently push back into child's pose, balasana. Take a deep breath here, in and out. Take your arms over to the right side of your mat, breathing deeply into the side of the body, inhaling, exhaling. Come on back to center. Let's go to the other side, stretching into the right side of the body now, inhaling and exhaling. Come on back to center and let's come on up into tabletop. Remembering that shoulders are stacked on top of the wrist, hips stacked on top of the knees. We're gonna sway from side to side and then front to back, just warming up the body a little bit more here and stop at the center. Lower the belly, open up the chest for a nice cow pose. And then around the back, draw the belly in, lift up, lift, 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 lift up the back, draw the belly in, chin to the chest into cat. So now articulating with breath, inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling to cow. Exhaling to cat. Do two more. Inhale and exhale. 
feels really great for the spine. Last one for now. Breathing in and exhale, breathing out. Well done. Come to flat back. Now we're going to extend the right arm out, nice tight belly, and extend the left leg out. Lengthening the spine. We're going to hold it here. Extending as much as we can, but keeping the arm in the body. Holding it for three, two, one. Now I want you to show me that cat pose, crouching and lifting up the belly for three, two, one. Extend it back out again, lengthening the spine for three, two, one. Crunch it in. Show me that cat pose. Nose to knee, belly up. Three, two, one. Last one here. Extending. Three, two, one. Crunch it in for three, two, one. Place your hand down. Melt into child's pose. Breathe here. <sighs> Melt into that nice balasana child's pose. Softening into the hips. Relaxing the shoulders. <sighs> Depending on how the wrists feel, you may want to do a little bit of wrist rolls both ways. Okay, now come on back up. We're going to do the other side. So this time, left arm comes out, right leg comes out. Keeping our gaze down to the mat so we're not crimping our neck. Holding it here. Three, two, one. Now let's crunch it in for three two, one, extend it all the way back out again for three, lengthening, two, one, are you breathing, holding it here, crunching for three, don't hold your breath, two, one, extend it out again for three, two, one, and crunch, three, two, one, well done, knee, hand down, Child's pose, melt. <sighs> Let's take our arms over to the right side of the mat again. Breathing into the back of the body. <sighs> Come back to center. Let's go to the other side. Breathing in and out. Come on back to center. Back into tabletop. Let's tuck the toes under. Push the mat forward in front of you. Downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Very nice. Upside down dog. We're going to come up on the toes. Walk your feet, or maybe you want to jump them toward your hands into forward fold. We're going to do a little bit of relaxation here. I want you to nod your head yes. Yes, I want a nice flow exercise. No, I'm going to say no to all that negative thoughts that I have in my mind. And I'm ready for a great practice. Okay, put the weight in the heels, soft knees, come on up to that flat back. Breathing in here and breathe out, down to the toes. Put the weight in the heels, come on all the way up, inhaling, woo, exhale. Take your hands to the heart. Well done. Take your hands to the hips, we're going to step back with our right foot, preparing for warrior one. So remember, our hips are square to the front of the mat. And we're going to widen our stance to make sure we feel like a nice tripod. Our back leg is straight and strong, and the front knee is right on top of that ankle. Don't let it get ahead too much. Okay, from here, take the arms all the way up. Shoulders are relaxed, and we're breathing here, pressing into all four corners of our feet, holding it here, inhaling, and exhaling. This time, we're going to straighten the arms, leg, front leg, reach your arms up, staying up, and now breathe out, down, okay? Breathing in and out. Again, inhale, exhale, bending one more time, in and out. From here, I want you to scoop through. Imagine that you're holding that gentle, soft pillow in front of you. Back leg is straight and strong. Spine is nice and long. Breathing here. Three, two, one. Come on all the way up. Inhale and then exhale. Bend. Great. Now I want you to imagine that you're opening some doorknobs here. So you're going to open these doors, pull them back 
as you straighten your front leg and then punch through. Okay, we're gonna open these doors, articulating your fingers, pull it back, breathe in, punch. Again, breathing in and punch through. Again, inhaling and punch. Again, in, feeling nice and strong in that warrior pose. Last one, breathing in and punch. Well done, arms come up. Warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. Are we feeling like a warrior now? Inhaling and exhale, release. Step forward, inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, dive down to the toes. Well done, come on up to flat back. Come down to the toes. Let's walk it out in that nice downward dog again. So, pressing into your hands, maybe focusing on those middle fingers, pressing, articulating down those fingertips, lifting up the backs and thighs, maybe still walking the legs out because the hamstrings are still tight. Good, come up on the toes, walk your feet toward your hands. Come on up to flat back, come down to the toes, Come on, all the way up, reach up to the sky, breathing in and breathe out. Take your hands to the hips, we're stepping back with the opposite foot. So warrior one on the other side. So every side of the body feels different. Make sure you have a nice, solid footing into your mat, into the earth, okay? Knee on top of the ankle, back foot is pressed into the earth, back leg is straight and strong. Shoulders right on top of the hips, take the arms up. So your fingertips are reaching, but the shoulders are still relaxed. Holding it here, breathing in and out. Now we're gonna straighten the front leg, reaching up, and then bend. Again, breathing in and exhale, bend. Pressing into all four corners of your feet. In and out. Two more. Breathing in and out. One more. In and out with the breath. Now, scooping through, opening up your chest, fitting this beautiful long line from the top of your head going all the way down to your heel. Holding it here for three, keep on breathing, two, one, come on all the way up, breathe in, ah, breathe out. So imagine those doorknobs again, we're opening up these big, massive door, really big round doorknobs. Breathe in, twist those hands. Inhale, pull it back, straighten the front leg. Pull it all the way back and punch through. Inhale and punch. Inhaling, exhale. Breathing in, open up the chest, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Let's do one more. Breathing in. And out, wonderful. All of the arms come all the way up. Strong warrior pose. Inhaling. And exhale, well done. Step forward to the front of your mat. Reach all the way up, dive down to the toes, breathe out. Inhale the flat back. Exhale to the toes, hands out to the mat, downward facing dog again. Walk it out. Nice upside down V. Press into your fingers, engage the tops of your arms, maybe soften your knees to get the backs of the thighs up to the sky a little bit more, and breathe. Come on up in the tops of the toes, walk your feet toward your hands. Ah, good, come on up to flat back. Come down to the toes. Come on all the way up. Reach up to the sky, hands to the hips. Let's prepare for warrior two. So remember, front toes are facing the front, back toes are either 90 degrees or maybe turned in a little bit. So always one thing to watch for, shoulders stacked on top of the hips. Watch that back hip. Hip should be parallel to the floor. Front knee on top of the ankle. Don't let it sag in. Make sure it's externally rotated, that front leg. Same thing here, back leg is straight and strong. Take the arms out. Feel expansive and tall, and breathe here. So I always like to do a little check. How's my back arm? Ooh, my shoulders relaxed. Am I 
drawing my belly in? Do I feel like a warrior? This is warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. So just like we did on the warrior one, we're gonna articulate this. Breathing in, straightening the front leg, and out. Again, inhaling here, and exhale. In, and out. Two more, inhale, exhaling. One more, breathing in and out. So far, so good. So from here, gazing over that front middle finger, we're gonna reach, lower that arm, take the other arm all the way over. So maybe your shoulder's hurting you or it's not feeling kind of, maybe it's grumpy today. You have this is a really nice option or maybe just like let it hang behind you. So it's your choice and your practice. Always do what's best for you. Keeping the chest open. My neck is feeling a little grumpy today so maybe I'm gonna look down to my bottom ankle over here. And I'm breathing. So this front arm should be loosey-goosey, making sure you're putting nice weight into that back leg and not too much weight in the front. So we're just gonna swing it like a little monkey arm. Whoop, whoop. And then maybe that arm that's over top, we're gonna extend and imagine we're holding this beautiful big beach ball. Okay, we're gonna hold it here, three, two, one, tight belly, come on all the way up, straighten the front leg, and then release. <sighs> okay, wonderful. Arms up and down. Woo. Two more, breathing in and out. Inhale and exhale. From here, let's lower that back arm. Turn this palm up. And rather than dump it to the back, I want you to think about extending forward, opening up your heart to the sun, the moon, the sky, the stars. So you're scooping, opening up, holding it here, breathing for three, two, one, and release. Arms all the way up. Take your hands to the heart. Well done. Let's go to the other side. So I'm gonna take my front toes and make them my back toes. Whoops, switchity switch. So the front toes turn this way, back toes are now 90 degrees or a little bit more on a 45 degree angle, depending on that back hip. Arms are gonna come out. I'm gonna bend that front knee. I'm gonna adjust myself to make sure I'm super comfortable in this posture, because it's supposed to be a happy uh, experience. <laughs> Knee on top of the ankle, shoulders back on top of the hips. Watch that back hip, so make sure it's nice and aligned. You're gonna feel something happening into the glutes and to the back of the leg. We wanna work that. 70% of our weight should be back here. Take a look behind you. Relax the shoulders. How's it feel? Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. Arms up, breathe in and out, bend, inhale, Exhaling, in and out strong. Inhale, exhaling. I think I have two more, breathing in and out. If it was really only just that one, this is one for good luck. In and out, well done. From here, we're gonna reach, lower that front arm and extend. Now remember, you have that nice option of hand on the hip, maybe behind you. Just make sure the neck is neutral to the spine. Chest is open, extending, breathing. If your arm is out, keep it into the body. Maybe looking down. Your practice, your yoga. Breathing here. Most of the weight should be in that back leg. Tight belly to support. Seeing how this monkey arm does. Pretty good. Every breathing here, every smiling. Let's hold that imaginary beach ball. Remember, head, neck is neutral to the spine. Breathe, holding it for three, two, one. Come on, all the way up. Well done. Breathe out. Warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. 
Well done. Now from here, we're gonna lower that back arm. Remember, we're opening up the chest, not dumping into the back, so none of this, but just open up your heart, saluting the sky. Breathing here, holding it for three, two, and one, and release. Well done. We're going to bring our feet parallel to each other. Take the arms all the way up and breathe out. Well done. Inhale, arms up. Press your hands together and stretch to the side. Is everybody warmed up now? Breathing in. Breathe out. I know I'm pretty warm now. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Arms all the way up. Hands to the heart. I want you to bring the heels a little bit closer together and sink. Goddess pose. And we're gonna articulate this, so let's arms up. And sink, tall spine. Inhale. Exhale, imagine you are scaling up and down an imaginary wall right behind you. So if you were to stick your bum out, oops, you're gonna hit that wall. So keep it nice and straight, whoa! Keep it nice and straight, arms up. I almost fell into that imaginary wall, didn't I? Whew. Inhale, lift, exhale, sink. Now from here, lift and open up your arms, holding it here. Relax those shoulders. Show me your yoga fingers. Beautiful, nice. Now sway to the side, your happy side, and the other happy side. Are you breathing? Come on back to center, still holding it, breathing. Ah, shake those yoga fingers. And arms up, and release. Well done, you did it. Take your feet now back together. Shake everything out. Well done. Feet are gonna go hip width distance apart now. Hands to the heart, sink into the imaginary chair. So this time now, you're sticking your bum out a little bit to that imaginary wall behind you. We're gonna open up our chest, relax our tail, and sit into this nice, comfortable chair. Utkatasana chair pose. Your hands can be at your heart, they can be on your waist, or maybe right on up here. Your choice. Breathe. How's that cozy chair? Sometimes when I imagine this imagined chair to be soft, it gets more hard, more difficult. So imagine a nice, firm, supportive chair. Maybe it's your, in your favorite color. My favorite color is blue, so here's my supportive, strong, sturdy, blue chair I'm sitting on. Everybody good? Breathing. <sighs> Come on up. Inhale, exhale, well done. Arms all the way up. Dive to the toes, breathe out. And from here, softly nod your head, yes. Oh, I did pretty good here, that was awesome. And then shake your head, no, no, no more negative thoughts. Today's gonna be a great day. Very good. Inhale, come on up to flat back. Exhale, come down to the toes. Come on all the way up, breathing in. <sighs> breathing out. So come back and sit in that cozy chair. This time, take your arms out in front of you. We're gonna peel that left foot off, cross it over the right into Garudasana, our eagle pose. Taking your arms ahead, we're going to cross the right over the left. Either the backs of the hands are going to come together, or maybe they're going to come to the shoulders. Your choice, your practice, or maybe something a little more intensive. You're pressing the hands together. See if you can stand nice and tall, seated in this posture. If you wish, take those toes of your left foot and wrap them around your leg. Holding it here, breathing for three, two, one, and release. Breathing in and out. How does that feel? 
Take a moment. See what the body's saying to you. Take a deep breath. Deep breath in and out. <sighs> okay, shake it out. Let's do the other side. Soft knees. Back into that chair pose. Okay, peeling now the right leg, crossing it over the left. Arms come out, chest up, left arm over right, pressing the backs of the hands, pressing the hands together, or grabbing onto your shoulders, depending on what feels best for you. Remember that bottom toe can be supported down to the ground or wrapped around the leg. Your choice, your yoga. Come into the posture. Imagine you're this eagle perched on a cliff, looking over a beautiful ocean, maybe a sunset, <sighs> or maybe the sun rising. Breathing in and out. Last breath, in and out. Release, arms all the way up. Well, you did it. <sighs> Breathe out, well done. Arms all the way up again. Let's dive to the toes, breathe out. Come on back to the long part of your mat and step back into downward facing dog, walk it out. Come on up on the tops of the toes, bring your knees down to the mat, come back into child's pose, melting here. Ah, softening, take a deep breath in and out. Slowly come on up. We're gonna come onto our six bones. Our feet are gonna come in front of us, hip width distance apart. We're gonna come onto the back of our six bones and keeping our chest nice and tall. Fingertips are facing the front of the room. Okay, we're gonna lift one foot and then switch. Nice little toe taps, keeping the chest up, the belly nice and tight. Forget to breathe. So this is a little modified boat posture. Now, if this is not challenging enough for you, then maybe you want to hold it here with the shins parallel to the floor. And if you want something more than this, then you can take your hands with your heart lifted still to the sky like this. If you want still something more, we're going to bring our legs nice and straight. But I like to keep it right here because from this point, I want you to keep your chest lifted, your belly nice and tight, and I want you to imagine that you're preparing and giving a package. I always think about chocolate. So I like to think about giving chocolate packages to friends. So here you go, friend. And here you go, friend. Maintaining your balance. And we have at least 10 friends to give these packages of chocolates to. So let's start counting now. 10, nine, eight, heart lifted, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last but not least, one. Well done, come back to center. Take your feet down, melt over your body. <sighs> it's a lot of work getting out those chocolates. Breathe in and out. <sighs> well done. I'm going to slowly roll up the shoulders and back. We're going to come onto our backs and bring your knees into your chest for a big hug. I want you to rock from side to side. And if you're giving yourself a nice big squeeze, I want you to say something nice to yourself. It's very rare we say nice things to ourselves. So as you hug yourself, tell yourself that you're a good person and that you are also very good at yoga. Okay, I want you to stop at center. Round your back, bring your nose to your knees. I want you to relax your shoulder and hold it here for three, don't hold your back, two, one, and then release. With your feet hip width distance apart and your sits bones are fairly close to your heels, I want you to press down into the earth with your arms. Looking up to the sky and your chin is slightly tucked in, I want you to draw the belly down to the, the earth. So when you draw your belly down to the ground, you'll notice 
that the pelvis begins to tilt upward. Once you feel that tilt up, lift up those hips, lifting the belly all the way up to the sky, making sure your knees are directed toward the front of your room, never letting the knees flare out. I want you to hold this posture, holding it, breathing into your belly, into a nice bridge pose. So we're gonna hold it for three, two, and one. I want you to lower down. Ah, and I want you to feel that dog tilt of your tail. So now the tailbone goes down to the earth. Now we're gonna articulate this posture where we're gonna draw the belly in, lift up the hips, breathing in, and then as you breathe out, slowly lower down. Now inhale here, dog tilt and exhale, belly comes down, lift up. Inhale when we're up and then exhale, melting down. Draw the belly in, inhaling and now exhale. Inhale as we're up, and then exhale, melting down. Okay, we're gonna do a couple more of these. Inhaling, belly goes down to the floor, hips lift up, exhale. Inhale, and then exhale. Okay, one more, breathing in and out. In and out. Well done. Bring your knees into the chest. Big hug. Rock from side to side. Well done. Let's lower the legs down. Extend the arms right on behind you, lengthening the body. Ah. So this time when you're lengthening the body here, reaching your fingertips behind you and try to reach your balls of your feet to the front of the room, lengthening the spine, maybe will be maybe a centimeter longer and taller after this. Deep breath here through the whole body. And then exhale, breathe out. Take your arms down. Let's place our feet back down onto the mat and have the bottoms of the feet touching together with the knees open up and flared out. This is Supta Baddha Konasana, lying down bound angle pose. In this posture, I want you to tuck the tail under just slightly, chin into the chest, lengthening the back of the neck, now softening the shoulders. See if you can relax and breathe here, letting gravity do all of the work for this stretch. Inhaling, Exhaling, breathing into the belly, in and out. One more breath, in and out. Okay, have your hands to the outside of your legs. Press your legs together. Very good. Now we're going to extend the right leg down. Bring your left knee into the chest. Big hug, inhale here, and then exhale. Allow that left leg to cross over onto the right side of the body, using your right hand on top of the outside of the left thigh. The left arm is gonna go out to the side of you, trying to keep the shoulders and the back relaxed onto the body. If you wish, you can turn your head over to the left. It's your practice, whatever feels comfortable for you. All I recommend is breathing into the belly here, softening the body, inhaling and exhaling. Two more breaths, in and out. One more breath, in. And as you breathe out, try to relax everything. Well done. Come on back to center. 
Bring that left knee to the chest, big hug. Let's take that left leg up, maybe grabbing onto the back of the leg, maybe onto the big toe. Your choice, your practice, what feels best for you. Breathe here, in, and then exhale. Lift up your chest, lengthening the body. Holding it, don't hold your breath. And release. Just a gentle hamstring stretch. Let's do the other side. Right knee into the chest, big hug. Breathing in, and then exhale, gently twist to the other side. So, we have the left hand on the outside of the right thigh. And maybe we're taking that right arm out. Our shoulders are relaxed. Maybe looking over to the right hand, depending on how the neck feels. I want you to breathe in through the belly, softening the shoulder, maybe closing your eyes. Breathe in and out. <sighs> Two more. Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Last one. Really relax here. Breathe in and out. Well done, come on back to center. Right knee into the chest, right leg comes all the way up, just a gentle stretch in the back of the right leg, maybe holding on to the back of the calf, the ankle, the big toe, your choice. Breathe in here and then come on up, holding it, breathing, just gently stretching to the back of the leg. Three, lift your chest up, two, and one, release. <sighs> so that concludes our flow practice today. I want you to just relax here in Shavasana. This is where your feet are separated apart, your arms are away from the body. Try to come into a super comfortable position where you can allow the body to soak in and absorb the benefits of your practice. At least three breaths to soak in and absorb. Allow the body to melt into the earth. Find me a quiet, peaceful state. So you may stay here in Shavasana. I will come up into a seated position to thank you for this practice. Namaste.